Hello, I'm MZ Toon, the worst rapper in the world. Good evening. Tonight, we have part two of a three-part live stream. Uh, I have uh, with me Flatter Day Saints. How are you doing? Pretty good. You know Pretty, what I mean? I, Just blessed to be on this on this flat earth. <laughs> okay. Uh, if this is your first time watching, please be sure to subscribe and click the notification uh, thing so you get a a bell every time I go live because you, you you don't want to miss it. Um, I do debates uh, here pretty much every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central and then other times around there depending on other people's availability, but almost always on Tuesday. So keep your Tuesday open, huh? So, all right, we've got Flatter Day Saints. I saw you on Modern Day Debate and I said, hey, let's get them on here. I looked at your channel. This is the beginning, bro. This is just the beginning. I'm just getting started. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, why don't you, um, I guess just take a minute to introduce yourself. Don't talk about earth stuff. Just so people know who you are, I guess. Um, okay. So I was a drug addict for a long time. Come from, um, you know, just, I, w I was one of those bottom feeder people that you guys probably see. And maybe you're, your parents clutch their purse and lock their door when they walk by. And um, I, I actually lived with the pastor of a church for a year, right before I turned 21, the Victory Outreach. And um, they have actually a, glo a globe picture as their logo. And so I, I learned the Bible. We got up every morning at five in the morning, read the Bible, prayed for an hour. And I, I had so many questions. I was like that one kid that's always like, well, this is this. And I just didn't understand dinosaurs or anything. And they, a lot of their explanations like, well, the Bible's metaphoric. It's not literal. And I just, I just had too many questions. And so I, I got to know the Bible well. And they said, you have to develop your relationship with Christ. And I just didn't understand any of that. I didn't understand, you know, about being born again and anything. So I learned, I learned half of my education about the Bible there. And as I got older, I would ask God for signs sometimes. And he, and sometimes amazingly, Yeshua would come through and give me signs. So I knew he was real, but everything I had been taught wasn't real. And so my walk with him w was in conflict of what I was taught and what I saw was in conflict of what I was taught. So you know, I, I, I'm not saying that's the reason why I resorted to drugs in the life I did, but it's not not the reason. So um, that's just a brief introduction. You know, what I mean, I don't really want to talk too much about myself. People can hit me up on my channel, though. Latter Day Saints. You know, I mean, I run up on I ran up on some Mormons today and just, you know. The title of that's uh, Flatter Day Saint versus Latter Day Saint. So I run up on people and let them know that their, their doctrine may be uh, compromised by Lucifer. You know what I mean? I, I let them know the truth. Sometimes people get violent. Pretty soon, you know, I'll post some of those where people come up and try to swing on me and everything. It's all good, though. You know, to live is Christ and to die is gain. The floor is your, McToon. <laughs> uh, okay, so... <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you for that. You say the earth is what? Flat? Observably flat. All right. And uh, so then do you have any evidence for that? I actually do. I'm glad you asked. So the evidence that I'm going to present is just as good as any evidence you could present, except all I ask people to do is just use their senses that God gave them before their indoctrination in school, where they're, see, so not only are we told that we live on a spinning cartoon ball brought to you by Jesuit priests and we come from monkeys, but they tell you that to think that the earth is flat is stupid. Christopher Columbus, by the way, his name is CC33. I'm just saying though, Christopher Columbus um, solve that whole problem. Case closed. There's nothing to see here. Just keep going. You know, the earth is a ball. Keep going. That, and that's, so that's a myth, by the way. Oh, uh, well, I then yeah. I was told a myth when I started school. So I'm sure yep. you were, maybe you weren't, but I was told that myth. So I, so you're admitting it was a myth and the earth is flat. No, right? I, I'm admitting that, that nobody around Christopher Columbus's time thought that the earth was flat. They did not think that he would fall off the edge. 
he left to go around to the other side to get to India. Um, but he found something in the way and, uh, nobody was surprised by that, that he didn't fall off. People didn't think the earth was flat at the time. And that's according to your Luciferian history that you've been told. That's according to history that the, the history that he, that people thought the earth was flat at the time was based on, I think just one anecdotal thing that, that somebody said, but somehow that got to be part of the common uh, teaching by people. That just isn't the case that people didn't actually think that. So like all the old religions, the Mayans, the Incas, all these people who had the symbols for the flat earth, they, that was just like, that was much earlier than, than Columbus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was much earlier. That's why but I, now, I, but I, now, I call myself a 1491 or bro. I'm so, straight up 1491 or so, yeah, they didn't think the earth was flat then either. So yeah. here's the thing. The, the ancient cultures, like say the Greek cultures that thought that the earth was flat. What did they think the sun did when it was nighttime? Um, well, if you're you going to, if you're going to go to them for your, you know, your cosmology, what did they think the sun did at nighttime? I don't know. I w I'm not there to interview them or ask them. Well, okay. So, 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 so you're bringing, but you're bringing up the, what they thought the earth was as some meaningful thing, I suppose. So what did they think the, the sun did at nighttime? What did they think the sun didn't do at night? They thought that the sun went into a tunnel because that was the only way it made sense that hmm. the sun went into a tunnel at night and traveled underneath and then came out the other side so that it could go across the sky again. They didn't know that people in distant lands, when it was night in Greece, it was daytime somewhere else. They did not know that. And since they did not know that for them, it was okay to think that the sun went through a tunnel underground. Now, now, according to Michelle Fowler, it's not okay to think the earth is flat. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, it is not. It's not okay to think that. No, and according not. to Michelle Fowler, uh, astrophysicists are also time travelers because they're looking back in time. And she actually says there's no way you couldn't be. So I guess she was right there with Doc and old uh, Marty when they traveled back in time. I'm just saying, though. Know. I think it sounds like you're maybe confused about what she's talking about. She She's not saying that people are actually traveling to a different part of time. She's saying that because when they look at distant stars and galaxies, the light emitted from them was emitted a long time ago. And so you're seeing what happened a long time ago. It's metaphorical. It's not literal. Oh, so she's speaking in metaphors? Yeah, in, in that sense. Yeah, she is. Definitely. Interesting. I wish you would have said that. You know, before I well, put her icon on I, my um, yeah, I think I think most of the people that listened to her m picked up on the metaphor. Oh, uh, um, I must have I must have not got the memo, bro. You know what if I mean? you, if you want, I I have um my my I was helping my my kid work on on her workbook on metaphors, similes, and hyperbole earlier. I nice. could take a picture of it and send it to you. Um, I found some nice videos online too. Yeah. Hey, I was going to say, if um, you want your kids to know the truth, you could uh, direct them to my channel, bro. I'm just saying, though. Don't think I'll do that. Um, okay. they, they know they know the Earth is a globe. So, all right. Oh, so yeah. where where is... Uh, I, I'm sorry. I kind of interrupted you. You were going to show evidence of the Earth being flat. Hey, hey, bro, you can interrupt me anytime you want. It's all right. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Okay. I'm just going to read something. Can you... Am I still on with you? Uh, no, it just says your name, but I mean, if you're going to read, okay. then, then that's fine. I, you know, I'm not really computer savvy, so I'm just going to read something to I, you. Yeah, I, I get uh, that sense. Yeah, you know. Okay, just a second. Okay, so. Let me see here. Okay. Okay. Uh, Sorry well, about this. What, maybe while you're looking up stuff, I could, um. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Uh, yeah, Microraptor for 59 sex says the horizon is as straight as I am. Interesting. Um, I'm not going to I'm not going to lie. Uh, was he a homosexual or something? Um, trans. Uh, interesting. Yeah, so I'm not going to really comment on uh that whole LGB 
DTBDDD or whatever it's called. I just want to put it out there that that whole movement is um, depopulation, bottom line. So, okay, so let me read what I'm going to say. So um, this is from National Geographic. And it says sea level is the base level for measuring elevation and depth on Earth. Because the ocean is one continuous body of water, its surface tends to seek the same level throughout the world. However, winds, currents, river, discharges, and variations in gravity and temperature prevent the sea surface from being truly level. Yes. Okay, am I back now? Yeah. Okay, so the one thing they didn't say that prevents the, the water from being truly level is the curvature. So where is the curvature? Well, the, the definition of level includes, it is curve, a curved surface. Level is a curved surface. Uh, let me read is that, this. Is that like how Michael Jackson says bad means good? Like, you know, the kids nowadays say what's like, oh, that's sick. It really means well. No, it, it is it is the old definition of level. Level has never meant flat. It, it has always meant a curved surface. So let me read this one to you. Level surface. A level surface is defined as a curved surface, which at each point is perpendicular to the direction of gravity at the point. The surface of still water is truly is a truly level surface. Any surface parallel to the mean spheroidal surface of the Earth is therefore a level surface. That's the definition of level. So when National Geographic says the word level, it yeah. comes along with the actual definition of level, which means a curved surface. So your question about curved is already answered in the definition of the word level. Interesting. So like when I get home and my girlfriend's like wanting me to cuddle with her and she thinks I'm wide awake, but I tell her I'm tired, you know, cause like uh, curved is the new normal for level, I guess. Just like orange is the new it, black. No, cur right? Curve is the original definition of level. Oh, that's interesting. You, Why don't they you, just say curve then? Just out of curiosity. Because it's it, it it's the word level. The word level has a meaning. It is a curved surface. So level doesn't literally mean level. It, it, it's not level, a metaphor, like Michelle Dollar. Not at all. Level right? literally means level, and level literally means a curved surface. You seem to have a different definition for level in your head. That's fine. Just show measurements that confirm that level means something other than a curved surface. Then uh, then you'd have something. So, I mean, you, it's funny. So you're just saying that level literally, literally means level and it literally means curve too. Yes. So black, black literally means black and black also literally means white. No, in black world, means black and black means, means not white. All right. well, level a, world, me, you you don't get to, you don't curve. get to redefine the word just because you don't like the meaning. So when National Geographic says the the sea level is whatever it is, and then you're like, well, how come they didn't include curve in there? Because they did include curve because the word level means a curved surface. So it's in there, you just can't see it. It's like um, one of those mystery it, flavors that's just white, no, but it could be it's like lemon because or orange or cherry. You have ignorantly used the wrong definition for the word level. You have substituted you. the wrong one in place of the right one. So hmm. again, you're asking why did National Geographic not include the word curve or not talk about curve? Because they did when they used the word level. Hmm. You don't cool get story, to bro. redefine level. It means something. Hmm. Interesting. So a level surface means curve. Like when you're using yes. a level that you buy at Home Depot with a little bubble in it. That that's a noun, a not an adjective. Uh, I mean, it is what it is, bro. It's, no, the, it's, it's, the, it's an object. That that's you're, a, that's a different. Measure. It's a different thing. Hmm. Interesting. Right. So so when cool. when I when I get out and I want to know the direction of something, I get out a compass. Uh -huh. has a north and a south on it. Also, if I want to draw a circle, I'll use a compass. It's a thing that's got like a, a triangle and a point and a pencil. That's also called a compass. Two different things. One of the, one of the things that the, a compass and a square, right? You know, that uh, you guys subscribe to with a G in the middle? No, I'm, I'm just telling you that two different things might have the same word for their definition. So... Interesting. So yeah. the the level that you go get down at at the the hardware store is not a curved surface. It is a 
device that is useful for for determining the local horizontal plane that's per, uh, orthogonal to the downward direction. Did you just say orthogonal? Orthogonal. O R T H hmm. orthogonal. That's cool. I thought so, you were going to invoke uh, Pythagorean theory. So do you have any measurements to support your definition of level, which you think means flat? No, I don't. Okay. I, I knew that. It was a rhetorical can, question. Hey, I concede you won, bro. You you got me on that point. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. We'll see you later. <laughs> you couldn't you couldn't eat? Uh, okay. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. I yeah, think you did. Uh, I'm going to respect you, McToon. You're a good guy. Okay. So, so there's your question answered about National Geographic. Use their definition for level, and it will answer. It answers your question. So, um, any? Do you have any other evidence for the Earth being flat? Um. No, but I was going to actually talk to you about something else, if you're interested. Okay. Or if you're not. I. I, I well, we we could we also kind of said maybe we'll talk about five G, but uh, um, yeah, that'd yeah. be really good to talk about. Uh, all right, wait. You know what? Hold on. But before we do that, there are a couple super chats pertaining to the topic that we were we were on. So maybe we could do that, okay. and then we'll move to five G. So okay. people wrap them up. I like and then to actually. We'll... My my mind is scattered. I bounce around. I I've picked up on that already. Uh, I'll, uh, Asylum says, why is all navigation based on the globe? Hmm. Um, I don't know. Why are all maps flat? <laughs> uh, that Have you ever seen these maps? Like, uh, for example, a uh, an air map, but, which, which I have behind me here. The, this this is the a collection of the um, <clears throat> ONC maps. Those maps are flat, absolutely. They are all also labeled as Lambert conformal conic projections. So all big all maps that cover a large area declare what projection they use. That means that their source data is not flat. Their source data is spherical. So <laughs> when you see a flat map and it says there's a projection, you know that it is not actually a flat um, from a flat data source. So in fact, these these maps here that I have on my wall, um, I have that you you can only see one or maybe two. I have three of them, each and I each route is ten thousand kilometers, and it forms a triangle where each of the corners of the triangle is ninety degrees rather than the sixty degrees that is a, a necessary triangle on a flat surface. So when you, when you, you sound really smart to dumb people, McToon. And when you put, well, okay, um, <laughs> and own it, I guess. Uh, when you put all of those those three legs together, uh, they do not sit flat. You, in fact, have to put them onto a spherical surface in order for them all to, to match. And that those maps are maps used for real navigation for many decades. So they've, really? proved, they've proved themselves to be correct. And then and the North Star just doesn't move. Everything revolves around it. North but, Star, I mean, that's North Star moves, but that's a whole different topic. Let's, it, it, no, I try no, to control your, your jumpiness. Back in time at it, you know what I mean? All right. So all navigation is based on a globe and uh, you don't. All right. That's fine. You didn't have an answer yeah. to that. Because water, uh, water bends and convects around moving balls, right? It, it, it never finds its true level. Yeah. It and water does find its level because the definition yeah. of level is a curved surface. Level is curved. Yes. Yeah, in a world where level means curve. All right, you win. Which is the world we live in, unless you have measurements that that level means flat, which you you already admitted you don't. So until you have measurements that level me level well, do, is flat. Do you have measurements that show level being curved? Absolutely. Besides some some made up definition you just invoked. Absolutely. Okay, so I'd like to see your measurement your measurements of level curving off, and you could just curve it. So it's level, and then you just start curving it. You're invoking the curvature. I can I can show you measurements that level is a curve. So just a second here. All right. Show your audience, bro. I they, will. They're probably I... interested. So mc2.net slash curve as a collection. <laughs> oh, you're going to your I website, think. huh? Yes, there it is. Good one, good one. Jesse Kozlowski as a very nice uh, thing there. So um, I'll pull this up. Let me find the correct. Shouts out to Jesse Kozlowski. Do you know Jesse? He's a, no, he's probably, I'm just joking. 
So Jesse is a licensed surveyor. Hmm. Uh, he is, um, so he used a, uh, let's see, he used a theodolite to do these particular measurements. But let me pull So Jesse thing. believes that we live on a curved surface? Jesse has measured the shape of the earth. So here it is. He has, uh, what he did is he went to a lake, a level lake. It's it's a, a bit secluded, so it doesn't have much but, but wind. Also, but level slash curved, right? Because level means curved? Level means curved, right. So Okay, yeah, just clarifying. So he he's asking, is this a perfectly flat and level lake? He has a video if you like videos. Well, if level Here, means curved, then it. It, then it could it could be it could it could be level and curved, right? Because water curves every time I put in a cup or, or a glass or bathtub, yeah, yeah, I yeah. always see the curve. Because right. level means curve. Hold on. You asked me right. to show measurements of level being curve. So okay. I'm just try to try to follow along here, okay? I'll so, try, bro. So here's, you're way you, ahead of me though. Are you seeing the map here? Yeah, is, I'm seeing is, what you're invoking. All right, you're so you're just so far ahead of me, bro. That's I'm a, trying. All right, that's a satellite view of the of the lake that he's on here, and that's about a half mile distance there. A satellite view? You mean like a weather balloon view? No, it's actually from a satellite. So here, oh, the the things that are orbiting the, yeah, sh- the the globe, right? Stay stay on track here. Stay on track. I'm trying, bro. I'm so, trying. So here he put he put a spike into the ground, in, yeah. in the the water here, and he measured from the surface of the water up to the top of the spike, sixty millimeters. Okay. Hey, the um the surface looks like it's leaning lower on the left than on the right. Yeah, because the camera's not level. Uh, wait, wait. If the camera's curved, then the camera is level, though. No, the right? camera. The so camera level means curved. Yeah, it's tipped. So I'm just saying, right. though. So, uh-huh. All right. So uh, here and then here he has. You can see the level, the noun level. One end of it resting on the spike, the other end resting on the ground. He's he's oh, setting a picture up. Of the ground with a little teeny teeny bit of water. Interesting. Yeah, he's on the edge. So so what he's doing is he's establishing. <laughs> a certain elevation above the surface of the water, 60 millimeters, right? He's being very... He has it on a bunch of uneven rocks. Interesting. Yeah, but he's... But but you see he used the level to... to... That level doesn't look curved, though. If the level was bigger, would it be curved? Because you said level means curve, and that level mm. looks straight. That is the level, uh, uh, the noun level, not the adjective level. Try to keep straight. Oh. All right? I know, I know. <laughs> I'm, I know this I'm is moving what, fast. You, it's hard for you. I know. All yeah, right. You, you, you helios are running circles around us right. flat tards. So, you know what I mean? I do. I do know what you mean. So here he put another spike in the ground so that he has, nice. so he transferred from 60 millimeters above the water at, at the, on the right there to the oh. same elevation over above the dirt so that he can set up his theodolite um, above it. And then here he has, this is the measurement See that bar coming off his his the I still see the screen. I still see the screen lower on the left than on the right. But the but if we live on a globe, right. that right. actually try makes to, sense. So yeah, try to pay attention to the important things here and stay on track. Oh, okay. oh, that's not important, right? The the the, yeah. the yeah, level just, the, the horizon the, the, the tilting to one side is not important. Okay. The orientation yeah, the orientation of his camera is not important. What's important is that he is showing that he's measuring the elevation of the theodolite above. Well, if this what he does, if this is what he does for a living, you'd think that he'd want the surface in the back to be level. But according to you, it is level because it's curved. So maybe I'm wrong. Try to try to keep track here. That's just a picture of him making a measurement. And All this right? is his profession. So you know, I mean, a little sloppy, but you know, it is what it That's, is. It's just I wouldn't expect anything less from you, Globers. It's just a picture of him taking a measurement so that people um, know that's level, but that he really took a measurement. Curved, All right. right, calm down, calm Got down. It. Got it. All right, so here I'm you can trying. see again. My, my, you got my blood pressure going up. Uh, I too. I know it's it's you're out of your league. I know, but um, so I'm way out of my league, bro. All right, so there's that. He's setting up his targets. He's measuring things, documenting all these things. Now here is his theodolite here, and he shows mm. through. This is a uh, this is a photograph through the theodolite. It's a little bit difficult to see. But you can see that, so so he did the same thing on both sides, and he got the targets at the same elevation above the water on both sides. Interesting. And, and then, he, then he uses the theodolite to measure wow. the zenith angle. So, interesting, how, interesting how the water is almost like a mirror, you yeah, know, just right. reflecting the perfect image. 
Yeah, so you know, do you, I don't know if it would do that on a, on a curved surface, but you know, what do I know? Curve level means curve, so. Level does mean curve. So when uh, the theodolite here, um, the view through th through the theodolite is, is showing that the crosshair is above the target. Now his theodolite that he's looking through is at the target elevation, the same elevation on both sides of the lake. And he's measuring the zenith angle there, okay? And here is now the opposite direction again, and you and can see this is a little closer. About to go over the, that car's about to go over the horizon. Calm <laughs> down, calm down. Thank you, thank you. You can see again the crosshairs above the target. So what he does then is he he measures the actual zenith angle to the target. And all right, there's another that. There's that. Another view through the viewfinder. There's a bunch, right? He documented all of the things pretty well. This is a GNSS uh, location finder. He has his, his coordinates there up on. Uh, I like how you threw that SS in there. Good one, McToon. GNSS? Yeah, you just threw the SS in there. Good one. Keep going. That That's what that is. It, that's the initials for what it is. Well, it, it isn't what it isn't, you know? Yeah, see it here. GNSS right there. See it? Yeah, All I right. got it. I got All it. Right. Yeah. All right. I'll move down here. He he you can at your own leisure you can look up Jesse Kozlowski. Wait, wait, go back, eight. go back. I saw the curve. I saw the curve. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right. So he's measuring it. Like I said, this is a measurement. Okay. And like and you that's said many times. And that's yeah, and that's how you determine the shape of something is you measure it. And, and, and level means curved, right? Absolutely. And this right here is cool. the breakdown where we can see that level does mean curve. So um, <clears throat> I'll get this. is This is the one right here that's critical. You can see standpoint one, two, one, two. He did four different measurements. Mm -hmm. Cal, uh, so horizontal means curve too then, I guess, right? No. Uh, well, why do they call the horizon horizontal? Because horizon means yeah. horizontal. Different, different topic here. Let's keep on topic, okay? Oh, that's the horizontal and horizon has nothing to do with sea level. Different topic. Gotcha. Okay. Got it. Good. All right. Glad. So there you go. Um, one point three eight miles, and the curve drop is one point two eight, and that is feet, decimal feet. Oh. Huh. So Interesting. that is so. If it were flat, the drop would be zero, and if the Earth is spherical. The, the drop would be greater than zero, and the, the drop is 1.28 feet. And if the person that you're quoting from is in a paid shill, then the scales haven't fallen off his eyes yet. Sure. Just like you. So, so here's the deal. You can go rent your own theodolite and confirm all these things for yourself. Interesting. You could, you and could you hire... Too, and I know you haven't done it. You so. could, but why would I have to do it? Jesse did it. I can right. show you this right here. So that's and the Jesse, thing. Jesse, if you checks in the mail. If you disbelieve something, just disbelieving it doesn't refute it. You actually need to show something to the contrary. So like right. I said, I asked already if you have measurements of flatness and you already admitted you don't. You've already lost, right? But okay. we'll just keep going for fun. Um, hey, I'm a boring loser, bro. I'd, maybe maybe you'll get more subscribers with this maniac flat earther. Maybe, well, maybe you could... Maybe you could see the light. We'll see. So there it is. Uh, yeah. The the drop there over 1.38 miles is 1.28 feet of drop. Interesting. So there you, go. you know, Lucifer, a measurement. Lucifer, Lucifer is the bearer of light, bro. Hey, hey. Just saying, though. Yeah, yeah. That's a different topic again. So there you go. There is a oh. measurement of yeah, You caught me eating. You just caught me eating. Sorry. <laughs> so, all right. I stay hungry, bro. So you asked for a measurement of curve. I gave you a measurement of curve. It's on my website, mc2.net slash curve. There's quite a few others on there as well. Well, so, actually, you clarified everything when you told me that level means curve. Yeah. I mean, I have nothing to say to that. What can I say? Yeah. Well, Hook, line, and sinker, bro. I, you got me. I mean, it, 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 I agree. The, the definition of level means curved not flat. I asked you if you have measurements of level being flat. You don't. You asked me if I have measurements of level being curved. I did. Um, <laughs> That's of those so pictures where the, where the horizon curve, like 
was like a lot bigger on one side than the other by this professional that, version. That that was I just. I mean, that's just laughable. That's more laughable than I'm me sorry, not even coming. That, that has to nothing to do with the actual measurement that he did. That's just him taking a picture of him taking a measurement. That's not the actual measurement. The measurement is in the theodolite, which, which you know, we we saw just a a sighting through the theodolite, seeing that the target was below um well, below 90 degrees all I saw zenith was a crooked picture a crooked yeah. picture where the the images were reflecting so, off of a flat I, surface that's all it, i saw I, it doesn't matter that you don't understand how measurements are done you asked for a measurement well, I, I gave it to the you the level doesn't mean curve i understand that but in a world but where level means curve that's your <laughs> claim but you already, but you admitted you Unless don't you have, it, you bro. don't have any evidence to support your claim. It's a claim without evidence. You lose when you make a claim without evidence. All right, bro. So. Well, then I guess that do, loss. Uh, yes. But I'm do you have, I mean, just, just a rhetorical question. Do you have yeah. any other, uh, well, I'm, I'm sorry, we, we were going to wrap up. Uh, we were going to change topics here. So, all right. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, you don't want me to metaphor. Reach one of okay, viewers, you know what I mean. Connell Silverfur. Well, I don't. I don't have any risk of that. Connell Silverfur says a flurf that doesn't understand metaphor. Check, and then again says a flurf that can't technology. Check. Oh, uh, I've seen a uh, guy guy who calls himself. I've never seen such behavior in the war war room before. Says, what causes the celestial poles? on the globe model is that a question for me or you for you i know the answer to Wait, that what causes the select what causes santa claus to eat cookies when he comes down the chimney i don't believe that, in santa claus or the globe so. yeah that but 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 that's not this is this is what it's a it's a this is kind of I mean, how see, science like works asking, like you you that's you, like asking, you that's think like about things you, that's like asking me what caused Richard Nixon to be able to talk to Neil Armstrong in '69 with a landline rotary phone, bro. I don't believe that. So I don't. I say okay, what caused it was, was over, uh, what caused over your it was head. Stanley Got it. Kubrick, bro. Stanley Kubrick okay. caused it, bro. Okay. Brought to you by Jesuit priests. All right. So there you go, War Room. Um, he has no clue. Microraptor says, "What's the definition of the word charge? Which definition of the word charge is the correct one?" Are you talking to me? Yes. Charge, like C H A R G E. That's right. That's which definition is the correct definition? Uh, usually, when the DA picks up the paperwork in the morning after you've been arrested, charge. There you go. I've It'll never charge, experienced you know? that version of the word charge before. Um, yeah. My phone is. I'm going to charge my phone right now. Cool. There you go on my inductive LA's charger. LA's also about the chargers. I mean. Yep. Okay. Yeah, there is a, uh, a, a apparently a sports ball team out in the the western part of the United States called the Chargers. That's is that right? <laughs> All right, Saeed Ahmed says, "Is is is Fatter Day Saints playing dumb on purpose?" I think it comes naturally, mm. uh, but could you confirm? <laughs> hey, bro, just check out my channel, bro. You ain't seen nothing yet. I'm the kamikaze <laughs> of this flat Earth game, bro. I'm just getting started, bro. I've, I've watched a few. It's, um, wow. Hey, stay tuned, bro. Stay tuned. Somebody's going to assault me one of these days, and I'm going to spill blood for this. I'll die for this, bro. I love Flat Earth. I was lost until I found Flat Earth. I'm a born-again Flat Earther, bro. That, that's kind of sad. Lost in the blood, straight up. Uh, all right. Warren Evans wonders for five uh, pounds. Uh, a person in South America, South Africa, and Australia Look south at the same time and see the same stars. How does that work using the flat Earth map? Is that a question for me? Yes. I just got to say, I bless the rains down in Africa. It's going to take a hundred men to hold me back, bro. But that's just saying now. <laughs> that, that doesn't answer the question. Yeah, well, I mean, draw a circle. Draw, draw a happy face on your ceiling. If you go to one side of the room, the eyes are going to be towards you. If you go to the other side, the mouth will be towards you. It's pretty simple, bro. Come on. No, no. Y'all are looking at the sky to determine the shape of the floor. I can do that too. No, you can't. Uh, but but it, yeah, right. it does. It, I can do. Not understanding that it is a huge, huge problem for you. I, I forget it. I guess I guess you don't. All right. Asylum says, Tune, I admire your extensive vocabulary. Such a, uh, envy. My vocabulary. Yeah, you sound really smart to dumb people, Tune. 
Okay. Uh, St- Stringer News 1 says, beam me up, Scotty. I, I don't know. Are you Scotty? I'm not Scotty. Boom. Cool story. Speaking of Leonard Nimoy, he was asked once, what's the difference between science and science fiction? And he said nothing. There is no difference. Oh, my gosh. Saying, though. So Just many things saying, wrong with that at the same time. Right? We Just were talking about meaning curve at the same time. Right? We were talking about Scotty, not Leonard Nimoy, and it wasn't Leonard Nimoy that you misquoted. It was it was whatever you know. You, Captain you what I'm it was one Captain of the Kirk that you misquoted, right? and he didn't Captain he Kirk. didn't say that. Oh okay. my gosh! I know these flurfs are just crazy. Leonard Nimoy <laughs> is is rolling in his grave right now. Oh. Yeah. Do we have? And so uh, is Warner von Braun, bro. Psalms uh, and, Angel Angel Gamer who is not in this chat. She was in the previous one. She has a picture of herself with Leonard Nimoy. Fantastic. No. Um, When I was a little kid, I had a picture of me and Santa Claus until I um, found out it wasn't real. I'm just saying, though. The the picture wasn't real? None of it was real, bro. It's all in your head. You're not real? Whatever, bro. You know what I'm saying. Or you don't. It don't matter. The globe's not real, bro. It's something we learned as little kids so they can make us think that there is no God and we're just... It, it has nothing to do with galaxy, bro. It's, it's a pretty rotten uh, and, and miserable attempt at that because there's like four. Well, it, worked, dis- it worked on you, and it, four, either, either you're a shill, bro, or the scales haven't fallen off your eyes yet. It, but I'm gonna it, pray for you. But there's like four or five billion people that believe in God at least and agree yeah. that the Earth is a globe. That's the yeah, biggest they, failure those are the ever. That are really duped, bro. Those are the people that really are. That's duped. the I'm biggest failure ever to have people not believe in God. That Somehow, billions of them believe in God. Weird. No. Uh, all right. Uh, Saeed Ahmed says, can FDS bring evidence rather than confirm definitions and continue to play dumb? Play. I don't. We're not sure. We haven't confirmed if he's playing it. Attempting to poke holes doesn't disprove globe evidence. He hasn't actually yet attempted to poke holes. He has just used his in- incredulity. <laughs> Big word. I like that. All right, P. Barnes says, bro. Bro? What do you think, bro? Uh, <clears throat> Asylum says, offer for you, Flatty. Come to Sydney. That's on, in Australia. I'll teach you how to navigate and fly. I can guarantee you won't be a flurf after. Cool, bro. Hey, so if I take a plane from here to Sydney, I'm in California, at what point does the plane reverse and go upside down? Like, uh, over what part of the globe yeah, does it again, reverse? Not understanding it doesn't disprove it. It just shows that you don't understand it. It doesn't go uh, upside down. Interesting. Yeah, down is towards the center of the globe. So it doesn't curve go means, upside down. Means curve, right? Absolutely. And orange is the new black. No. Uh, well, I mean, that's a show. It's a TV show, right? Yeah. So, so is so is the globe and so is NASA's yeah, life beat, bro. That's again, just, just, show, bro. just claims, just claims. Claims without yeah. evidence again. Uh, Rick Sanchez is a new member. Thank you for that. And then we've got Connell Silver first says, Flatter Day. Before trying to master science, you may want to try mastering the English language from basic word usage to metaphors. Educate yourself. Hey, maybe I'll just master baiting, bro. You know what I mean? It could be. That might just be what you're doing. Okay, so uh, that wraps up the, the topic of the you not understanding Flat Earth. All right, 5G. What do you think about that? Uh, are you talking to me? There's only two people here, man. Bro. Well, bro. I mean, you were talking to a lot of other people. Okay, so I'm just going to read some real quick. Okay, so I got some weather mo- weather control or modification patents. So we got uh, the Aircraft Electrically Assisted Propulsion Control System, patent number 104-35165. We got Systems and Methods of Inducing Rainfall, patent number 103-14249. We got... Warm cloud catalyst, preparation method thereof and application therefore, patent number 101-65737. We got systems and methods for tracing air, patent number 9851275. We got apparatus and system for smart seating within cloud formation, patent number 9715039. We got methods and apparatus for destabilizing tornadoes, patent number 201500908085. We got high altitude payload structures and related methods, patent number 8985477. We got automated wide ranging anti hail protection method and a network. 
Patent number 201-403-53396. Okay, all right. Device for- all right, it's getting old. What? What's your point? So if they can do all this, they can actually stop the rain. Rain is the number one enemy of 5G, and that's why it hasn't rained in California for a long, long time, and that's why they're chopping down all the trees. Okay, hold trees on. Trees are the second enemy of 5G. Oh, hold on a second. What, um, a pet, how many patents are you on? Ha- have you been granted that you are on, listed on? I have never been granted a patent. I've never okay. applied for one. So you don't actually know anything about the patent process or, or maybe you, you know, some, uh, uh, how many patents have you been involved in? Maybe not just listed on. Bro, don't try to black swan me, bro. I'm just reading all these patents okay. that are real. Here's the deal. Only one of your audience members looks he, them up, bro. He, yeah. Oh, here's the deal. Our, my audience members know a little more about patents than you apparently because getting a patent oh, sorry, granted doesn't mean that it works or that it is in use. I am on one granted patent and it's not in use. It's never well, it was in use a little bit at our company, but it's not in use. It it basically doesn't exist anywhere. We we in fact we're shopping to sell the patent and it didn't sell. So uh it doesn't it it exists. The patent exists. We hold the patent for it, but it doesn't exist. Nobody actually uses it. So having a patent exist doesn't mean it's in use. True. Okay. Hey, well, anybody out there in TV land, look up uh, weather modification patents. You'd be surprised, yeah. bro. Uh, look up Google Loon, L-O-O-N. Yeah, okay. So, so how does that have anything to do with the next thing you said where you claimed that they can stop the rain? Yeah, they have stopped the rain. Uh, where? How? The rain. How? How? Well, where's the evidence? Weather modification patents. I where's, was getting to that. I was just yeah, reading yeah. you a bunch Again, of Again, a patent existing does not mean it works or it is in use. It, it just mean means... It doesn't work either, McToon. Exactly. It means exactly nothing. It means that they were the first person to think of that idea. That's it. Hmm. That's okay. what a patent you is. Don't think doing, you don't think there's weather modification? No, not not like you're suggesting. Oh, so what, what do you think there is then? I think that they can... It? They can make clouds, if there's clouds already existing, they can do things to cause them to rain, but it's not very good. Not very good. Huh. Yeah. They, 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 so if there are already clouds, because then there's water in the air, they can they, they do cloud seeding. It, they don't do it very often. And because it's expensive and it doesn't work very well. So hmm. Interesting. Um, yeah. Where do you think NASA? Hey, where do you think NASA's all the NASA money that they get for going to outer space really goes? Goes well, into cloud seeding, bro. I'm just saying though. But but you were don't saying the that they are somehow the stopping rain. Cloud seeding yeah. is to start rain. It's the opposite. Huh. So well, is it really? Okay. Yes. Cool story, bro. So is is cool story, bro? Is that your white flag? You give up? You yeah. you admit that you lost? Okay, got yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Geist view is saying, where are you in California? Cause it just rained, uh, outside his ranch a couple days ago. Mm, interesting. Wait, flag. Uh, I'm in Ventura. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> so you got no idea. So John, every man is saying, put one in chat. If you want Mallory back, got a lot of ones, a lot of ones, uh, but DKG custom, he is a fan apparently, um, fan of mine. Apparently, because he put a two in chat instead of a one. Um, Asylum says, uh, because he offered Go to for my you. Channel, bro. Yeah. Asylum says, uh, because he's the one that offered to teach you how to navigate and fly a plane. Ooh, the ones the ones are showing up now in, in uh, oh, somebody in Pasadena said it just rained there today. Uh, Asylum sure. says, so uh, will I get a yes or no or just scared? So will you go to? Chem tra- it was probably the chemtrail what? rain that they come down with the Morgellons in it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you like oh that one? I'm That's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah, Morgellons don't exist. Okay, exactly. Right. It is so dumb. Hey, if I reach one of your audience members, bro, then my job here is complete, bro. What it rains, Morgellons? Say that again. So yeah, the, all the more all the webs that come out, those are Morgellon webs, bro. Morgellons <laughs> are in your hair. They're one tenth the circumference of your hair, bro. You got Morgellons, every bitch got them, bro. Thanks to our government. 
We love our government. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh. Have you heard that birds aren't real? <laughs> did, did you hear about that, too? Did you hear about that, too? Hmm. There's a lot of drone birds out there. I've taken pictures of them. Oh. But for the most part, most birds are real. Some of them aren't. Whoa, tell me. It is what it is. Oh, expand on the drone birds, please. I mean, I don't know much about them, and there's not too much info on the internet because they've kept it pretty tight-lipped. But oh, I have a Nikon course. P1000. I got a Nikon D850. I got a Nikon D500. 150 to 600 lens. 200 to 500 lens, bro. I've taken pictures of these things. Of, of the, new me, the, dro the drone birds. You're not going to shock me with too much, bro. I've seen some pretty sick stuff, bro. Uh, you, you're, I'm I, you're the I'm one. from the bottom, bro. You're the one. The I come from the very bottom, bro. Uh, no doubt. No doubt. Um, no doubt, bro. Um, I mean, I'm the, most, I'm the most hood ghetto flat earther you guys will probably ever see on YouTube or on face page or chap snatch or whatever they call it, bro. Um, oh my gosh. Um, you, but you, I am good. For, I'm, I'm good for, for an audience. Bro. Oh, you're good you for mean? entertainment. I, 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 I put some comedic effort into what I say too. <laughs> that is faux shizzle. Um, so the, um, the, the drone birds, you have pictures of them. Yeah, I can't show them to you right this second, but I could send them to you. Not that you'd post them, but I would absolutely post them. I I will dedicate a page on my website to your drone birds All if right, you send we'll them see. to me. I have pictures of owls flying with hawks, flying with vultures, all circling around. And and but but how does but how how do we know that they're drone birds? That's a good question. I guess uh, all predator birds just fly around together then. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> they're either drone birds, bro, or they're controlled by some five G frequency. I, just, I don't know. Hey, check out check that, out Murder of Crows. That is definitely Santa Barbara. That is definitely the most rational explanation for it. Uh, is that uh five uh, G? I guess. Um, either it, that it, or they're just following the curvature of the Earth, right? It it well, you'd have to you know, they they have to fly. 111 and kilometers. Why they're always dipping their nose down to account yeah. for the curvature, just like airplane pilots, right? Yeah. Well, when I when I throw a frisbee, I have to have it dip the nose as it flies too. Uh, you know that, right? So. Um, yeah. Sure you do. Uh, so uh, here, Holy Smalls says, uh, "FDS God made the globe and the rest of the universe. Quit believing in such a weak God that can't even make a planet, only a pizza." Wow, bro. Hey, well, you know. Bro. You're gonna have to. Hey, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. So when you when you go, that the earth is a globe, see, bro. Uh, yeah. Okay. Right. Um, <laughs> Rama, Rama for fifty sex. Oh yeah. Says flat earthers can't even do basic math, but claim they know more than all scientists. In a in a world where level means curve, yeah. Okay, got it. That's as we've determined already. Level means curved. You don't have measurements. When you, of, we, when you say we, do you also I'm, say we won the Super Bowl? We went to the moon. No, I'm bro. talking to you. We, I'm, I'm talking to you and me as we, we, yeah. you and me have we determined, determined anything, bro. in you this conversation. Science, bro. I didn't agree to any of Level bro. means flat. You don't have measurements of, or sorry, level means yeah, curved. You just said level means flat, bro. Yeah. You just said it. Uh, yeah. It, level you means curved. There, McJones, you huh? don't have, flat. you don't have measurements of level meaning flat. I do have measurements of level being curved. Can you show so, me some pictures where the horizon was so, tilted on one side and the other. Can yeah. you invoke some all right. theory, bro? Anyway. Oh, dear. Okay. <clears throat> uh, bro means bridge in Swedish. Cool. Uh, let's see. Rama says, I'm finally done with my degree. I am now officially an EE, electrical engineer. I take that. Very nice, Rama. Awesome. So, all right. So, uh, 5G. So you, you said this, this got me. Um, you said that rain is the biggest enemy of 5G. Can you explain that? Besides that and lazy construction workers. But yeah, rain stops the 5G signal. 
How? That's why they're making it not rain, bro. Trees also stop it too. That's why they're how, the tree. how does rain block or interfere at all with 5G? The raindrops and the moisture interfere with the millimeter wave signals. I don't know how it works. Um, if you don't believe me, you I, can look it up. Or if you do believe I, me, don't look it up. It don't yeah, matter. I, I believe saying. that you don't know how it works. Um, cool. What frequency? Okay, well, maybe one of you, maybe one somebody in your audience will look it up, and the skills will fall off their eyes, bro. Um, I well, I, it should come to no surprise uh, to you that I have on my website uh, mctune.net slash 5G, where you can look up the frequencies used for 5G. So what frequencies do you think 5G so, Tune, the uses? The only thing that would surprise me is if you came out of the closet and said, you know what, I don't need money from NASA anymore. The scales fall off my eyes. I see the true shape of the earth. That's okay. the only thing that would surprise me. I'm, I'm, I, I can't, I'm, I'm, even that wouldn't surprise me, bro. I am you know I mean? wearing, I'm me. right now wearing NASA underwear and NASA, um, pants so i can't oh. do that right now you got a uh, but, michelle you got a michelle fowler hat to go with that no nah, or, or a shield degrasse tyson you, you <laughs> so here's you should see neil neil can dance have you seen him he's pretty neil good Armstrong? N neil degrasse tight we call him ndt um we oh because you've met him Oh yeah, I mean, he's, really good at, hey, he's a we, really good actor. We, I like, we, I like how his hands shook when he did the mic drop, bro. We we <laughs> see him, we see him every every month at the the monthly um sec, you know secret so, meeting at if, the if he, at if, the if moon base. If that dude's not a if that dude's not some type of android robot and he's an actual real human being with a soul, he's gonna go down to the to the lake of burning <laughs> fire, bro, where there's gonna be weeping and gnashing of teeth. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know why the, the 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 shape of a physical thing has anything religious to it. I'm there's not religious, no, bro. I'm a born again flat the, earther. The, there's no there's no spiritual or religious or faith based connotation to measuring a physical thing if if i'm gonna go and if i'm gonna do some yeah, carpentry and, if you don't and i if you don't understand hold, earthly things and, how can you understand heavenly and, things bro and, it has everything to do with it yeah but you clearly don't understand but if i'm gonna measure the length of a two by four i get out a ruler i don't need to have any spiritual beliefs about the shape of a two by four i just measure it cool. and then i find out how long it is and then i say so oh a level, a level that's two by too four long curves at both ends right uh two by four means curve two by fours do curve if if uh if you ever go to the the, the store and you're like oh hey that looks pretty nice and you look down the long way and you're like oh crap well, that was crowning so there yeah. you go um all right so explain then um the frequencies used by 5g what what frequencies does 5g use so i don't know what freak i know they 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 go on um, different gigahertz. I know the 60 gigahertz is one that supposedly is coming out that'll take your breath away. I don't know, though. The I, um, EMF reader you certainly, I have, you certainly the EMF don't know. reader I have only goes up to 3 gigahertz in measuring, so yeah. I don't have one that measures any further than that. Um, so, so, uh, so, you know, 60 gigahertz is not used by 5G at all. Hmm. It, it, Interesting. It cannot use it because there isn't a wide enough uh, bandwidth at 60 gigahertz to do that. Yeah, they Plus, just use that to take the air out of people's lungs, huh? How does that work? Uh, it depletes the oxygen molecule in your lungs, bro. Explain. Hey, coupled coupled with the mask, bro, people are going to be it, dropping no, like flies it, pretty soon. Once explain, get that vaccine, bro. explain how this works. I just you, did. No, no, you did. You just the oxygen molecule. You just claimed that it depletes. How does a photon yeah. deplete a uh molecule look it up bro i Damn, have just don't shoot the messenger bro I'm i have saying, i have looked it up that is not cool. true van right. vleck 1947. Cool. so so uh, you're claiming you're making a specific claim and then in and then refusing to support the claim is that because it's just crap because you're lying i think you're just lying hey maybe one of your audience members will look it up and think for themselves bro it's actually That's on my all. website to nobody's cool. surprise, mc2.net slash 60 gigahertz. 60 GHZ has all the information you'd want hey, on two, 60 say gigahertz. The, say the, oh, you did. You said six three times. All right. You 60 get your gigahertz. Work, yeah. Good one. Good and one. I'm not going to say Beetlejuice three times because you know what happens then. So <laughs> yeah, people are wondering about my uh, NASA. There we go. Look at that. But you're not going to, you're not going to see my underwear. Yeah. There you go. So, um, I'm sure Neil deGrasse Tyson's seen it, bro, when you go to Bohemian Grove. 
I'm just saying though. I well no, we 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 meet the annual meeting or sorry, not the annual, the, the monthly meeting is on the secret NASA moon base. It's oh, and next. You're not important. Enough, you're not important enough of a shill to go to Bohemian Grove. But hey, you just keep trying so, to put these flat earthers down, bro. I, Maybe you'll earn your stripes and go to the Grove I, one day, bro. Uh, yeah, of that course. Owl, so, homie. I uh, um next Thursday is the annual breakdancing competition. Last year, in a in a big upset, Simon Dan beat Neil deGrasse Tyson. The showdown. The showdown will be amazing next week. Showdown of the shills. Can't wait to see it. Send so, me the link, bro. So how many hertz? Oh no, you, you, it's invitation only. Uh, how many hertz is one gigahertz? How many hertz is one gigahertz? Would that be a thousand? No. No, a hundred? I don't know. No, I I believe you. Um, <clears throat> you just made me look really dumb, Nicktoon. Good job. So so all right. So sixty gigahertz. You think depletes oxygen but you cannot explain it you refuse to support your claim here's the yeah. deal I'll, I'll tell you i'm sure you'll understand it 60 gigahertz yeah. photons are absorbed by by dye oxygen molecules in the triplet state you just said the word die bro dioxygen dioxygen yeah, two oxygens dioxygen that's interesting so two oxygens together in the atmosphere, that's how oxygen is. It's two of them, just like nitrogen is dinitrogen, but that's in the singlet state. Triplet state dioxygen has two electrons. Um, there, the outermost electrons have the same spin. It is is because it's triplet state, um, hey, and so because of hold on, I'm explaining. I'm explaining this to you. Okay. They have Sorry, the same spin. They can be either parallel or anti-parallel, and. Uh, when a 60 gigahertz photon interacts with a uh, molecule of, of oxygen, it changes the spin from parallel to anti-parallel or parallel or anti-parallel to parallel, one way or the other. It, it swaps it. Um, it doesn't, doesn't change its chemical properties at all. It still binds to everything else just the same. So that's what happens to 60 gigahertz uh, photons when they're absorbed by oxygen it doesn't change it to singlet state which would be a difference in reactivity it, it leaves it in uh, triplet state so what do you think happens to to that that's again van vleck 1947 on my website all right hey so um has anybody broken peggy whitson's record for 666 days in space yet okay just curious a, a different topic here so I'm asking you, you claimed 60 gigahertz will take away your breath. Please yeah, explain. Take your breath away. Yeah. Just yeah. Like the song. With, with, with evidence. Go ahead. No. What is your evidence for that? I don't have evidence that? neither do you, bro. Uh, it's military grade technology, bro. They're implementing it, on it. It's it, not going to make our phones is, work better. Again, another claim without evidence. But here's the most important thing. 60 gigahertz is not used by 5G. Cool. So anybody who wants to protect themselves, they can use shungite. It's a stone found oh, that in the mountains in Russia. Pure BS. Absolute, completely BS. If that oh. worked, you could see it because unbeknownst to you, light is electromagnetic radiation. If shungite somehow stopped uh, radio waves from getting to you, it would also stop light from getting to you. But it doesn't. It is, oh. it is just pure snake oil. It's basically carbon you know charcoal uh, packed yeah. tight it is cool. it is completely worthless but it can look nice i suppose if it's in a nice shape yeah it's, you don't want your good audience decoration. buying that stuff right i i would not want them because that would be a scam and i am yeah. anti-scam in fact i i have i write software that is anti-scam anti-spam software we also stop phishing and viruses and stuff like that and and so that type of stuff is exactly the type of stuff that i prevent so people don't buy shungite if you think it's going to protect you from electromagnetic radiation. It can't. Okay. <clears throat> Where'd he well, go? More, all I have to say is more shungite for me than, you know what I mean? Yeah, it, I mean, it's just charcoal. So um, it's it's no more it's no more interesting than, than this. This is a um, glass pyramid, crystal glass. Do you think anybody oh, needs protection from 5G radiation, or is that no, just hogwash? It is all hogwash because because 5G, um, 5G is the same same technology as 4G, 3G, uh, all other wireless that's why, communication that's where basically. All 
that infrastructure in the ground, right? It's just the same technology. Don't it is, yes. infrastructure, nothing to it, see here. It right? is, well, you don't understand it. It is amplitude and frequency modulated radio frequency. Do you know what that is when I say amplitude? Uh, you really smart to dumb people, McKinnon. That's Absolutely, yeah, and I get that. So uh, yeah. you don't even know what it is. You, you don't have, you, you really don't have an opinion on it. I know what it. it is, and I know it's not good for you. I know that. You No, you don't. You don't know what it is. You don't know that you don't know what new thing of 5G you think is bad demonic, for you. Bro. I know it's straight from no, the, you, straight from the hell, You don't know anything. You know okay. nothing All about right. it. You've already declared that you know nothing about it. I asked you what frequency. You don't know. I, t I, you know, what is different about it? You don't know. You have no clue what 5G okay. is. Okay, cool. Yeah, what what is what is what is this uh, that you're doing here? I'm um, just just uh, doodling some stuff for your audience members to see. Just saying though. <clears throat> Fourteen and nineteen. Yeah. So you take the word NASA, right? And then you take the A, put it like that. That's fourteen. That's nineteen. But that equals thirty-three. So yeah. it's right in your so, face. So, so you're you're just you're just making up crap because you want it you, to, to try to come to a conclusion with numerology that's a completely meaningless thing. Nobody gives okay, a damn cool. about numerology. It's stupid. Okay, <clears throat> cool. So I know numbers don't mean anything. Like when Peggy Witten was in space for 666 days, that was just a complete accident because rocket scientists aren't accurate about anything and numbers don't mean yeah, anything to yeah. them, right? Okay, cool. <clears throat> yeah. Cool story, bro. All right. So um again, I'll ask you again. What is the new feature in 5G that makes it bad? So I, I don't, I, like I said, I'm not sure about all that stuff. But, but you know, you said you were certain. Stopping, you said know, you were certain about it. Sorry, I didn't mean for you to interrupt me while I was talking, bro. Keep going. Yeah. Are you done? Okay. Yeah. So I'm, I was just saying that they're stopping the rain because it interferes with 5G and they're cutting down the trees. But but you didn't so you support you well, didn't you support your evi you with rub. evidence that they're cutting down that they're stopping the rain, right? Well, I was I was getting to it, but you interrupted me. Oh. And you said the patents don't matter. So yeah, patents patents doesn't mean that they're in use. You need to show know, that but, they're in but, use. But level means curve, right? All right, cool yeah, story, yeah. brother. Yeah, bro. So um, because you don't understand bro, it, so. bridge, right? <laughs> in Swedish, apparently. I can't apparently. wait to go to Australia. Hey, I can't wait to go and bless the range down in Africa. Stay tuned to my channel and be showing you guys how to make chemtrail busters. So with a little who, bit of ingenuity and some crystals is, and some resin. Who is the longest in space? You said. Peggy Witten, six hundred and sixty-six days. It's, I quote: "I love it up here." That's what she said. Yeah. Um. Just that. It's Genity. Huh. Padalka. Well, Eight hundred record for six hundred and sixty six days. Bro. No, it's not the record. Genity Padalka oh, has the record for eight hundred and seventy eight oh. days. Okay, great. But Peggy Witten at the time did break a record for six hundred and sixty six days in space. Now the record's been broken. All I'm saying is she was up there for six hundred and sixty six days in space. Uh, which, Do you confirm or deny that, McToon? Which means nothing. I'll Do just say that it means or nothing. Deny my statement. What, that she was up there for a certain number of days? Sure, no, no, she was no, up no, there no, for no, a certain stop, number stop, of days. Stop. Do you confirm or deny that Peggy Witten was up there for 666 days, bro? I will confirm that she was up there for 665.932 days, oh, which wow, when okay. rounded to the nearest whole day is 666. Damn. Absolutely. But that is, again, meaningless. It's not is the it record. Really? It's no, not the record. The it is though, number nine. It is the ninth longest in space. Okay, so I'm going to just play something real quick then. Um, what are you going to play? The record is important because we have to... Hold on. Commander of the International Space Station about to break a big record tonight. Here's Navy C's to you, test. They call it the Peggy Factor, Mission Control's code word for the way superstar astronaut Peggy Whitson always gets the job done. I love it up here. Tonight, Commander Whitson making history with her record for any American. By the time she lands in September, her tally... An American, okay. ...166 days in space, with more space... 
Hey, do you not mind interrupting? Yeah, you did it right when they said the date. Her Just listen. For any American. By the time she lands in September, her tally will be 666 days in space, with more spacewalks currently eight than any other female. Okay, Mike, so go. so you're admitting that space exists. Thank you. Um, I guess that's all you got out of there, huh? I, I yeah, well, I, I, yeah, it's it's a exists. it's a meaningless a thing. Boy now, there's no flat Earth. You guys got me. I'm a globe tard now. I mean, you, you can't on, you can't. It's the fallacy. It's the fallacy. The fallacy of stolen concept. Days, bro. You she can't. There for 666 it days, doesn't bro. matter. Who cares? It doesn't matter. I can. I could yeah, probably no, find all sorts of weird number, numbers. Right? Some random number. McCune. It's a meaningless thing. I could find all sorts of numbers right. in your life if I wanted to. If anybody well, wanted yeah, to dig around. All right, McCune. It's so, meaningless, and, right? And and level mean curve. Six hundred sixty-six days. And is meaningless, actually, right, Holy Smalls has an excellent point. Doesn't the Bible talk against numerology? Have you not read Leviticus? So, like Lucifer tried to quote the Bible. Have you and not it? read Leviticus? You're not to use numerology. Mm, okay, bro. Cool story. Well, you're not. You're not to use it according to the I Bible. Know. So if you're going to go with the Bible, then okay. you can't use it. Oh, okay. All right. So I was just saying how she was up there for 666 days. Sounds like NASA is using numerology. Sounds like it's just something that happened, and it doesn't matter. Cool, McToon, cool. Yeah, it doesn't matter. 666 days, NASA equals 33. No, nah, it don't matter. You know, NASA, I mean, it's just random numbers. But but you had to do all sorts of fanciness to get NASA to equal 33. Damn, I love how you turned yeah. this around on so, me. Good one, McToon, yep. good one. Yeah, so, all right. Um, <laughs> Robeep, I think it's funny how they always default to 666 like it's some evil evil number. They don't yeah, even it's know. Not, you know. It's just the mark of the beast, bro. They Nothing don't even know that. that the number of the beast is actually 616. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool story, McToon. Yeah, you're, you're, that's Re Roby, but, but, uh, yeah, your number's wrong. Uh, Stringer News 1, the box of rocks is feeling mighty smug right now. Indeed, he is. Um, so let's see area 85 restoration says so he doesn't trust nasa but what about companies like blue origin and spacex <laughs> that's do, laughable do you, you not know, realize elon there musk are other said, space companies okay. so elon musk said you know it's real because it looks so fake if it was fake okay. we'd have much better cgi and you guys believe he sent a tesla roadster into space that's a joke either you guys are shills so so your in, your, your incredulity again is all you have thank you for that this, I mean, oh, and, and, and the truth too. That's all I have is just but the truth. You bro. haven't actually said any of it. Um, Everything I've spoken is true so far, bro, and it re it's no, going to resonate so, with some of your listeners. Connell, bro. Connell Silverfur says, "Flatter day. Every everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to you. I award you no points. Thank you, and may God have mercy on your soul." Yeah, well, wisdom of today's men is foolishness to God. So thank you. I appreciate that. It's a uh, bro. Chris Hoffman says that you're a shoddy excuse for a common con man and terrible at it, only driving people away from his Lucifer based beliefs in magic rocks. Cool. Your your Shungite magic rocks. Hey, if I can drive anybody away from Lucifer <laughs> beliefs, bro, then my job is complete, bro. Okay, so you don't have man, you I mean, you just have absolutely nothing. This is like the worst showing for any flat earther ever i gotta say yeah but you're gonna get um, a lot of ratings from this bro i i don't think so i think you're your well, maybe you won't maybe, then. Hey, I think hey, your like, if, like if i said if the scales fall off one of these kids out here eyes bro then my job's yeah, complete but, bro. but you've done nothing yet right you you got no measurements of flatness yeah you, i've just you, spoken the truth bro. you, you made all. claims about 5g that were factually incorrect um you but, made you, and, you, and, and you said the level you, means curve bro so yeah that's hey, the definition hey so one one for the for the truth for the flat you, earthers zero for the globers because they're telling a lie bro you you admitted that space exists <laughs> did i really uh, um yeah by okay. citing by citing how long somebody was in space um <laughs> that, yeah okay you got me there um, Whoops. you you don't you don't understand uh 60 gigahertz is not in use for 5g you also don't understand that it does not take your breath away as you said you just claim that basically here's the thing saying that is not true it is a lie making you a liar okay all right sure bro well if if you're gonna go with 60 gigahertz takes your breath away and have no evidence for it that's a lie wait you are, so you can you say are, something and not have evidence for it and that makes it a lie 
Like if I said the sky is blue, but I don't have evidence because I don't have evidence, that means I'm but, lying. But we can look at the sky. If you said the sky is red and it's actually blue, that's a lie. Interesting. But if you say uh, the sky is blue and the sky is blue, that's the truth. So yeah, if you say, your it's all good, bro. if you say 60 gigahertz takes your breath away and it's not true, then you are lying. Then that makes you a liar. You are a liar. Mm. Unless you can support yeah, your claims. Sea level means curve, right? If I were to say that sea level means curved, I'd be a liar. But I never said that. And I never said but, space is real. But space that is, is fake AF, bro. But, but it is true. And uh, that level means curve because that's the definition of level. And I showed you measurements. There's and lots of means measurements. means good, right? And sick means well. All right, cool. All right. So, um... <clears throat> Where where do you where did you get this wrong information about five G from anyway? Um, I just look at a lot of information about it, and I read a lot of stuff about it. I don't have any formal training in electromagnetic frequencies. No doubt, no really doubt, that's the truth there. Yeah, no doubt, bro. So, hey, don't don't take what I say. Just do your own research, people. I did. Right? Yes, everything Good. he says is wrong. Did my I'm own not research. speaking to you. I'm speaking to your audience, bro. Well, this they know too. Is, they know too. I came on here for your audience, not for you, bro. You're a lost soul, and I don't know if there's any any coming back for you. Oh dear. Um, <clears throat> Holy Small says Flatter Day makes me want to keep giving MC Tune money. MC Tune is the real saint in this conversation. Cool, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, he's he's, Thank he's you, the real Smalls. Saint Nick, bro. MC Tune is the Saint Nick. Yeah, right? he's the Santa Claus, bro. Which, if you rearrange oh. the letters, it's Satan Lucas. I'm just do, saying, though. Do do you um um oh jeez do do the geese do the geese migrate in California? There, do you see them? Is that a question for me? Yeah, I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. You don't know if if geese migrate in California. I could Google it for you and give you the answer that Google says, but me personally, I don't know. How long have you lived in California? My whole life, born and raised. The and playground's you... where I spent most of my days. But in the playground, you can see geese flying overhead if they fly overhead. Have you seen geese? I was geese? too busy looking at the shape of the earth, bro. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I know. Crazy. Yeah, these flirters are just nuts. It, true. Um... Oh my gosh. Alien Spore says 666 equals carbon molecule. Christians think science is evil. Six protons, six neutrons, six electrons. Christians need mushrooms. I don't, I'm not, I never claim to be a Christian. I'm a born again flat earther, bro. Flat earth is your religion, huh? It's not my religion, bro. It's my belief. That makes it a religion. By, whatever, again, you yeah, you sure, don't know whatever. the definition of things. That's right. Um, okay, cool. But but everybody else knows. Yes, that is his religion. I know. Flatter. I know. Nasha means to deceive in Hebrew. I know that definition. Nasha. Hey, you got that right. Yeah, straight up. You know what NASA means in Hebrew? It to means lift up. to lift up. There you go. Now, who is your Papa Flurf? Is that question for me? Yeah. Again, I'm it's not just the two of us. To that nonsense, bro. People in the chat, who do you think is his Papa Flurf? Oh, we got one. I I th I think Dumb Jez is correct there. That oh. that's who I'm going with. Oh. We'll see. We'll see what you a couple other people. There, burn. Uh, Stringer News One says, "Beware false prophets." like you uh the geist view for five dollars says if rain and trees stop 5g then how did i have 5g signal in the rain in the woods outside newport oregon you didn't you had 4g and they just lied to you and told you it was 5g bro open your eyes <laughs> oh one person said ramos are you a fan of simon ramos i don't know who that is bro oh tell him to subscribe to my channel though bro <clears throat> Uh, so one person said Riley. Um, I don't know who that is either. We, uh, we've got one person said... Is he a coyote? Said, no. One person said Subarats. We got Thrive and Survive. Thrive and Survive? No? I don't know who any of these people are, bro. D Marble. 
No, D Marble's a straight up shill. Did you see his rap video? I, I can't breathe. Don't shoot. And he's representing George Floyd, that whole fake 846 thing. 846 is the time that uh, Derek Chauvin had his knee, uh, his um, his knee on George yeah, Floyd's neck not, for eight minutes let's and not talk about seconds. It there. That's the Ooh. time that the sun set in Minneapolis on 525 is 846. That's the time the plane hit the first building. Okay, that's enough. That's Wake enough. Up. We're, a, we're, a, we have more important things here. Somebody says Russian vids. Do you know Russian vids? I've heard of them. Okay. Rob Skiba. I've seen a couple of his things. All right. Uh, okay. Dubai. Dubai is actually, that video, two of the reasons why there's not a spinning ball. Actually, my girlfriend came home one day. She's like, "There's this flat." I'm like, "Get away from me!" I open and dismiss her. I don't have time for this. This is craziness. So that was the, the that was... Bay video, though. She played it, and I couldn't turn it because I couldn't find the remote. That's what made me a believer. I started researching it from that video. So, so I are you know about him as a person? But that video got me. So, so you don't mind that he's a he's a pagan? Like I said, I don't know about him as a person, yeah, but that video yeah, okay. was used by God, by Yahweh, as a tool to make me a believer in the truth. <laughs> Daniel Pratt. I don't Pratt know what he does as a person. He's a whore. he's a he's a crappy rapper. Is but it, besides that, yeah, I can't I disagree there. Um, Daniel Pratt is he uh, your Papa Flurf? Never heard of him, and I don't know what oh. you mean by that. The only true father I have is Yeshua. No, I'm, that's not what I'm. Um, let's that's see. Let's see. Saying, Bob yeah. Bob Nodell. What do you think of Bob Nodell? I've heard of him before. I mean, I think I think the, is he the one who's on Globusters? He is one of the Globusters, yep. Yeah, I like Globusters. Does some good work. So, I support their channel, bro. Yeah, I support Globusters. Yeah. So, uh, but but by by far, by a factor of at least ten to one, everybody is saying that your Papa Flurf is Nathan Thompson. Like I said, my my only father is Yeshua in heaven, bro. That that's not. Pro- that's not what shouts we're... out to Nathan Thompson. He's the one that got me on MDD. Shouts out to Witsit. Shouts out to ODD. I probably watch Witsit in ODD more than anybody. I love ODD's music and his videos are really easy to follow. I that's a lot. I I, I play his videos for for Globetards who haven't seen the. So did yet. you I did you do uh, did you do Blood Over Intent then? I haven't seen that. No. Did did you bleed on a piece of paper and then say some incantation like ODD does? Yes. So no, I don't. I haven't done any of that stuff. No. What I was planning on doing is getting a hot iron that says Effie and burning it into my chest, bro. Uh, but yeah. as far as cutting myself and everything, no, nah, I haven't done any of that. I uh, I'm not, I can't comment on that. I don't know. I haven't researched. I that. mean, that's that's an ODD and uh, a flat Earth millionaire does did that and. Uh, I mean, I've probably, heard of it. Like I said, I've heard of it. I don't, I don't, so, I'm not against it, and I'm not for it, bro. I don't know about it. So yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a blood yeah, ceremony. Something something uh, forbidden in Leviticus, by the way. Um, like I said, bro, I don't I don't condone it, and I don't go against it. I don't know. I haven't <laughs> researched it, so I know it, I know you guys are probably clinging at that, trying to make us look bad, but it ain't gonna happen with me, bro. Clinging at what? I mean, you guys make yourself look bad. We don't have to. Straws, bro, we we don't have to. Hey, I can we make don't. myself look bad. I don't need you guys' help. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, Area 85 Restoration says, I noticed the flurf didn't even try to explain why Blue Origin is fake. Uh, there you go. Could you explain that? How is it fake? Hey, you know it's real because it looks so fake. Yeah, Blue Origin. <laughs> Blue Origin. Yeah, whatever, bro. They're all, they're all Luciferian agencies, bro. It don't matter what you... What, however you brand it, bro. You know what I mean? They could have a little Star Trek logo. It don't matter. It's all the same Luciferian agencies. It's just American tax-paying money. All, but on, but they're, they're private... 666 days, bro. Come they're on. They're private The devil's in the details, organizations. The devil's they're in the details. Pri- so, so no... No, nothing. It's it's just a cult for you, isn't it? Yeah, Alien so Spore says, hey, get, I'm... Hey, get the blue origin logo, draw a red circle around it, and draw a red slash through it. That's what I say. It, yeah, all right. So, uh, Alien Spore says, I'm not your bro, bro. Then you're my bridge, bridge. <laughs> I don't... Look, Micro Raptor did not give you permission to speak in S- Swedish. Interesting. <laughs> LB... I'll be things stuffing more says, where do you find these clowns, MC Tune? Oh, <clears throat> there you go. <clears throat> he found a tune, MC Tune found me on a flat surface one day. I, he tried uh, to convince me it was curved. <laughs> That's where he found me. I Yeah, I, I found him on, he was on Modern Day Debate. Um, yeah. 
I, I actually didn't watch much of that. I, I, tr I did watch a little, but then I got... I know. There's only so much I can watch. Um, the Mr. truth is uncomfortable, huh, McTune? <laughs> it hurts, bro. Uh, no, no. Um, Mr. Tube, first name Fa, and middle name, middle initial Q, says level means conforming to the liquid parts of the Earth's surface, which is a, mm -hmm. a, a curved surface. And Rick, Sa Rick Sanchez says, when Mallory looks like a genius compared to you, you need to reevaluate some things, FDS. Interesting. Yeah, all right, cool. Do you know who Mallory is? I can only imagine it's the little meme girl that you, you call her a flirt, whatever, where you dress up, where you dressed up like some furry animal with devil horns to try to make fun of her. I, I didn't listen to the whole debate. Uh, it, she sounds young. That's all I know. She sounds like a young girl. She says she's 37. Um, yeah. Has you ever, have you ever even seen her before? I've not, but, but I know somebody that has, and he confirmed that she is that age. I mean, so, as somebody as I that know, it I that I know. Some kid in your basement, bro. Uh, That's it, what you know. It it yeah, and it's a it's a disembodied voice, so it's difficult. Um, yeah. to, to I'm not afraid to show my face, bro. I put I put myself I, out there, bro. Neither. And I've got I've gotten death threats. I run up on gang members. I run up on people getting high in alleys, bro. And and as you guys can see, and I stay barefoot. My feet are dirty like this earth, bro. I walk in stores barefoot mm. with no mask on, and I just let these managers come up and say something. Oh, like, Check out look, my channel, Flatterday look, Saints. Look, Ma Mallory, Mallory is into feet, too. Let's not do feet stuff, okay? Oh, jeez. I'm just saying I go barefoot everywhere to let this dirty electricity get out of me, bro. It's drowning, bro. You should try it sometime. I, take those, take those uh, Air 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 Force uh, Ones or whatever. Take those NASA uh, moon boots off your feet, bro. I have I have a second degree black belt. We do all of our stuff barefoot. Cool. So interesting. Um. All right. Somebody says check email. I will. B ball for life says check email. And then, oh my goodness, there's there are there are some uh, uh, accents above this guy's name. Jerome Allard Jequin Jack Jackin. I don't know. I'm sorry if I got it wrong. It says his disjointed ramblings are painful to follow. And then a and laugh out loud. Don't, don't watch me. You know what I mean? Dislike my channel. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's see what B-Ball for you life got your has. Vaccine yet? Have you got your vax yet? <laughs> um, I, when I was in at university, I, uh, I did uh, my, I wrote, I, wrote, I wrote all my Pascal on the vax. Yes. Um, Have yeah, you got your COVID vaccine? No, no. Okay, um, go get that, Victor. You probably need it. Yeah, you keep your family safe. <laughs> yeah, it, it's not what you think it is, but that's that's fine. Um, yeah. You don't know so what I think, bro. But one thing I'm you could be damn sure, sure of is uh, anti-vax, bro. I'm I'm I'm, anti I'm a vaxxer, anti -masker, very, anti very positive. I know I know what you think on that. Cool. Um, but that's not the topic for today. So, All right. um, yeah, so. <laughs> Uh, B ball for life sent me the definition of level uh, on my website at mctune.net slash level. I have about 45 different citations of the definition of level going back to the 1700s. You could be like so. levels like square shape levels, like a ball levels, like a trapezoid shape levels, like a triangle shape level yeah. pumpkin shape. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson said the earth is pear shaped. Uh, Bill Nye said the earth is more like blah, 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 blah shaped. Man, you guys can't get your story straight, but you know what? You guys make for good comedy for my show. You guys give me all kinds of material. Oh, yeah. As you were, bro. As you were. <laughs> so Quantum Degreaser, you know him? He's he's a he's a flexpert in all sorts of. Never heard flutter. of him, bro. He's, Never he, heard of him. You might want to hook your trailer to that guy. He is he is on your level. Um, Ooh, that means he's curved, <laughs> right? <laughs> Well, he's he's a flexpert with F L Fle flexpert. He has a lot of flexpertise. Um, he says, "Wow, this play, I got all the hats." He's like early Kyler from Squidbillies. I don't know who that is. He like, but he likes your hats. But so quant you. quantum degreaser. Maybe you and he could do a uh, collab. I never heard Sometime. of him. Yeah, go go check him out. He's is he a flat earther. He's he's a he's a flexpert. F L E X. I don't know what that means, Fle bro. Flexpert. That'd be a flat don't earth expert. But flexpert would be a flat earth expert. Um, oh, is that what that would be? He claims to be a flexpert, so and he has a lot of cool. flexpertise. Uh, so, 
want to do work with me, bro, who believes what I believe in, reach I, out to me on my channel or Flatterday Saints at Gmail. There, there you go. Um, there, there. <laughs> uh, Mr. Tube says, does your flirf know that a COVID-19 positive person is watching your stream? There you go. Somebody that has that is currently infected with COVID-19 is watching. Cool story. I mean, somebody that got a, a present from Santa Claus is probably watching too. It is what it is. <laughs> In a world where level means cave. <laughs> Holy small says anti-mask, anti-vax, anti-brain. Mm, yeah. Um, I am working Man, on with there to know the flat lives matter. I'm I'm working on uh with with uh for you I'm I'll send it to you uh and everybody else on my website a uh, a page that is a clearinghouse for uh good information on that nasty virus. I'm just and, sipping that flat the, earth juice that level water you feel me? <laughs> yeah, and level, level means, means curved. curved. Yes, there yeah. we go. Uh, level means curved. <laughs> Holy Smalls says uh laugh out loud. He's afraid of fats food grade additives and sugar that is what that is what's in this the 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 vaccine yeah is he just coming from a position of fear of everything i think i think he's of, just uh, a sheep of, I'm not he follows in my body. he follows whatever wackadoodle stuff somebody else says is the yeah, the wackadoodle like, idea like du maybe jour? Hundred years ago, from the beginning of time until recently, right? And now everybody's getting sick from all kinds of stuff. They got you guys walking around wearing face diapers. You guys are afraid to breathe air. It's ridiculous. The mark of the beast is here, you guys. It, it, you guys don't see it. It's really sad. <laughs> Even with a mask on, you can breathe air. Um, I, I, the physics is probably you know, beyond I, you. Yeah, I won't I go into that. Guy. Um, stream is one. We're not the ones. Always waking up in jail. Remember, charge uh, from the DA. Yeah. We don't need to corroborate our st a story, bro. Cool. All right. Hey, you know what? I'm not ashamed of my past, bro. I came from the bottom, bro. I clawed my way up. Like I said, I'll spill blood for this platter, you, you, bro. You started at I'm the bottom and moved platter, down. Uh, Hugh, Hugh Jars, do you know? Have you heard of Hugh Jars? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's so many names that you've heard of. I don't follow that many people on YouTube. I would, I'm out there just getting content. And I would highly there. recommend following Hugh Jars. All right. Well, tell him to hit me up on my, uh, there. tell him to hit me up. There you and, go. You know, I'll check out his content. He, like he, and subscribe or don't like and subscribe. I don't care. Yeah. And, and, oh, uh, pretty, pretty rough here. He says, has he heard of me or is he a complete incel? Apparently, if you've not heard of Hugh Jars, you are an incel. According What's an to, incel? That would be a, a person who doesn't get any action because he's afraid of women. Um, oh, interesting, yeah. Well, I'm afraid of my girlfriend, but uh, that's a story for another time. Yep. I, I, Hopefully she's not watching right now. She's probably not, though. She don't pay her. much attention to me anymore. It's all good, though. Um, Latter-day Saints girlfriend, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, Blink once. For... Hey, she's actually the one that got me. She's actually <laughs> the one that told me the Earth is flat, and I open hand dismissed her. So, a flat smacking with Jacqueline. We'll, we'll we'll get you out. We'll get you out. Just um, call for help. Uh, LB yeah. stuff things and more. Uh, says what does he think of gravity? I joined late, and then a heart, and I don't know what color that is because oh, purple heart because it I over I when I hover over it it says purple heart. I'm colorblind. So, um, what do you think of gravity? I mean, what do you guys think about Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny? The, the question was, what do you think of gravity? And the question I'm asking you in response is, what do you think of Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny? Okay, it, it's an interesting myth that little kids believe and little kids growing up believing. It's really okay. sad. So Boy, then, density so then, and magnetism and um, centrifugal force debunk gravity. Oh, it, it will. I open-handedly dismiss gravity. Bye-bye, gravity. So, so, all right. So how does that... Uh, uh, so there is a downward accelerating force right yeah cool bro okay. yeah magnetism buoyancy okay. density but 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 lead is diamagnetic why does it go down still like i said earlier mctune you sound really smart to stupid people gravity doesn't exist it's a myth next question but but you just saying it doesn't exist doesn't make it stop existing bro, i'm asking you level means curve doesn't I, mean I, that, that level it means curve bro. but I, I gave you measurement so what what does what does cause this downward acceleration then? Why does it everything go down at the same 
acceleration. So how come you can take a thousand pound piece of metal and get a hundred pound magnet and hold that metal up off the ground okay. and de- that thousand pound piece of metal mm-hmm. indefinitely? Well, because magnetism is, is a different force. How co- hey, so if gravity's holding the ocean down, how come the fish and everything in it, and when I jump in the ocean, I'm not sucked down to the ground, bro? It's ridiculous, bro. This is just all fairy tale. Land, not bro. Come understanding on, it doesn't debunk it. So could you please Ooh, debunk right, it? Bro. What is the like cause? I said, you're either the what what is the eyes, cause bro. of the downward accelerating force? Bro, I just like I said, bro. It, I'm, it, I'm it asking you if it's about, not gravity, gravity then I'll then present what present what it is. I'll, I'll tell you what it isn't. It's not gravity. Next question. But that does okay. White flag, people. White flag. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Bball for Life says he thinks he's been, uh, he sounds like he's been listening to Bev. Are you a fan of Bev? I don't know who Bev is, bro. Okay. Like Bevmo, Beverly Hills, Beverly, uh, I don't know. Bev. Uh, no tri- disrespect if she's a solid flat earther, no disrespect her. I just haven't heard of her. That doesn't mean she's not good. I'm not taking anything away from her. I just haven't heard of her. That's what you, that's your response to Bev? Yeah, I don't know who she is, bro. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you're welcome, Tau Ceti Alpha. Uh, how can the Earth be flat? Uh, so Geistview says, how can the Earth be flat when flat or level are not shapes? They are measurements. What? what we like is, the, is a flat Earth conspiracy guru. He's a good musician, man. That guy's oh, got... I love is, that dude, man. He is if as, he's listening right now, subscribe to my channel, guru. I'm he is a as, huge fan of yours. He's as dumb as a box of hair. Um, they are... So okay, yeah. they are measurements of how that's rough a s- that boy's got talent, man. That boy's got talent. I bump his music all the time no, in my car. No. Him and ODD is practically all I play. Gross. His 5G video is all lies. He is a liar. Um, hey, uh, let, let me finish. Be the final <clears throat> frontier, but it's made in the Hollywood. Basement. All right, let me finish I'm this one here. Uh, Geisby says they are measurements of how rough a surface is. The Earth's surface can't be flat. He's well, it, you're talking about like mountains and stuff. Yeah, I guess it's not completely flat, but even <laughs> more so, it's not a sphere. Might you say it's at twelve different vectors through space? Might you say it's bumpy? Oh, uh, um, uh, Rick Sanchez. I have three words for FDS: poverty of intellect. Cool, bro. Yeah, like White I flag. said, wisdom of wisdom of men is foolishness to God. So, <laughs> Hugh Jars. Hugh, me, bro. I Hugh, Hugh Jars, who you, you need to go sub to, uh, everybody needs to go sub to Hugh Jars. But Hugh Jars says, "Is he afraid of his girlfriend because she went pop?" Went pop? Like, you mean like how rappers are going pop nowadays? I I don't know. What is um, that like K-pop or something? I I, you know it. It's Hugh Jars. You you don't question. I don't know who that is. Hugh so. Jars. But if, he, uh, if, he, if he's trying to roundabout diss me in a roundabout way, then just um, let me know in your next comment, bro. Yeah, but d- don't do it as roundabout next time, Hugh Jarvis. Yeah, just come straight at me and say just, it, bro. Say what you yeah. got to say, bro. Don't come in a roundabout way at me. You know what I mean? If you don't like me, just let me know. And I'll try to conform to, <laughs> to the way you want me to be. <laughs> uh, yep. Um, guys, view for $5 says, if sea level means flat, then why is it not called sea flat? Or C horizontal. Has he ever seen or, or C level means curve? Why is it not called C curve? That's the same question. Because words have definitions, I suppose. Um, yeah. And so it literally ha- means metaphorically, right? No, it has a meaning. It has a very specific meaning. Okay. Yeah, I know. So level means have curve. You, know. Have you ever seen magnetism, not just the effects of mag- magnetism? No, but can you please explain it to me? I'm really interested in your explanation of it. Of magnetism? Not you. The per- I mean, you can go ahead and do it too, Mctoon. But the person okay. who just commented, I was just commenting back to him. I mean, what you're gonna say is already is is in the textbooks brought to you by the Rothschilds. <laughs> so I don't ain't nothing think, new happening. I here, don't bro. think the Rothschilds really wrote any of the textbooks. So um, no, but they had people who did, bro. Come on. Yeah, bro. the the nameless, faceless they always yeah, do that. Right. So all right. Illuminati. Kiros says uh, the the National Geographic quote you used at the beginning stated that gravity was a factor. Yeah, but the one thing that wasn't a factor was the curvature of the Earth. That was my whole point. No, but, but Sometimes we included it's not that. What's there? It's what's what's not there. But it's in there because level is means level is curved. You guys yeah. got me saying the G word. All right. Uh, so so 
Do you agree with National Geographic or did it just have fun words? It just had fun words and they weren't too big either. So I was able to say them and sound like I knew what I was talking about for a second until McToon shattered me. There you go. I'm glad you're not lying anymore. Uh, no, I'm this not. Moment. So Serena News 1 says, if you deny gravity, you won't be afraid to do. If you deny gravity, you won't be afraid to defy gravity. Go ahead and prove that gravity doesn't exist from a high window. Well, sounds like some Negalian doublespeak, bro. I'm good. I pass on that one. All right. Well, um, <clears throat> from from your logic, what about the word atmosphere? If 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 the word is what you're gonna do, right? Yeah. Then atmosphere. Okay, so we, there's a there's a half sphere over us. It's a dome. Atmosphere. We live no. under At a dome. Atmosphere. That's how rainbows are made. You can't recreate a rainbow in the house unless you have a concave mirror. Yeah. It's a dome over us. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on a second. Say, say that again. You cannot recreate a rainbow inside a house unless you have a concave mirror. You can recreate prisms of light that are straight, but you cannot recreate a rainbow. Okay. Um. Well, then just hold on a second here. Uh. uh I'll just grab this. Put this over. Oh, right here. So you're gonna recreate a rainbow without a convex or a concave mirror, huh? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Just cool. a second here. All right. Like I always say, if I'm wrong, bro, I'll admit it. Just prove, uh, show me I'm wrong. Will you actually? Yeah, I will. So, if you so, can show me I'm wrong. Okay. So say it one more time. Do you want me to invoke something? I want you to say one more time your claim about about rainbows. Okay, so you cannot recreate a rainbow in a house without a concave mirror. Could you? What about in a garage? Oh my god! Would Just show what you're gonna show. Would bro. it work in a garage without a concave, convex, well, whatever mirror? Show what you're gonna show, bro. So All I right. need crow. Here you go. You got. I love putting my foot in my mouth. Bro. You got this kid on the floor. You've got. Uh, is I think it's a PVC pipe sticking up with with little little holes in it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> right. Is that, is that is that a picture live from your basement, McToon? No. You, you, oh, okay. you, you said... I was just going to say, I wouldn't call the cops if it was, but I would yeah, just pray for you, yeah, you know, that you'd yeah, let him go. Yeah. All right. I'm just saying, though. <clears throat> so here you go. He's got a, a, a pipe with a valve on it, and then uh, I think he's got a pan Does that kid over. have a shackle around his leg? I don't think so. So here is... Oh. Here's the light. I thought, guys, I thought you guys were preparing that walnut sauce, you know what I mean, for you for right. the higher up. All right, you see that light? That's just a light there. Okay, cool. And then just a basic basic light. Okay. Interesting. Mm -mm -mm. Is that light traveling at 186,000 miles per second? <laughs> All right, here we go. Classic. Turns on the water. Mm. Water spritzes up little droplets into the air and look at that a rainbow cool and there's no concave mirror anywhere there, there is no mirror in there how do you know i mean i don't know that i can't see the whole garage i'm not there for the experiment i don't know if that's photoshop yeah bro. so, so now you, this you, is you the time this is the time where you be honest and you say you were wrong go ahead well i don't know if that's photoshop though bro go Just ahead like elon Musk says go ahead yeah, go ahead um, admit you know that you were wrong so like you said you would admit that you're wrong go ahead admit that you were wrong i don't know i don't know if that's photoshop bro no, I, could, you no, hear me? go ahead and admit that you were wrong because you made a claim and i just disproved it go ahead you admit that you were wrong it could be photoshop bro that's that's a video cool oh yeah you can't photoshop a video correct they didn't photoshop a video in 1969 of a correct. fake moon landing correct you they did not right. so so this is the part where you be honest instead of being a liar and admit that you were Why wrong you just send me a video of you doing it yourself bro and show me all the, no, the components you're using. you just said you can't do it inside a house and then i, I showed it happening saying. inside a so, house and so you and so now and you said no no listen up you said you said you would no no i i'm 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 holding you to your claim you said if you were wrong you would admit it this is your chance to admit you were wrong go you ahead show me anything special though bro. i you did i showed you i showed you no convex mirror no convex okay. mirror so this is the part where you admit this is the part where you admit that you are wrong or just be happy 
being a liar. Okay, bro. I saw you show me a video of a little. You kid are admitting yourself, that you're a liar. Then thank you for admitting you're a liar. Excellent. You got me, McToon. You got me. With I, your I did. Kid in your basement, bro. You are a liar. Whoa. You said you would Whoa, admit way. when you are wrong. Whoa, I showed that you are bro. wrong. Uh, you do now refuse to admit you are wrong. You lied right. on video for sauce, people bro. to see. I mean, I just right. saw a little kid in your basement on video, McToon. So here we go. Know. That that wasn't my video. But adrenochrome is so. not real. They're not extracting that from right. little kids. All right. So that's, yeah, you're a, a complete asshole. What a piece of garbage you are. Whoa. Hey, is that the sixth or the seventh time you just cussed? What a complete piece of garbage. Oh, I thought you were going to cuss for the eighth time because I know I saw. I kicked him. <clears throat> I hate people like that. Flatter Day Saints, you are completely worthless human being. You don't deserve anything that you get to, to, to just. You're a liar, an absolute liar. You said if you were shown to be wrong, you'd admit it. I showed that you were wrong and you refused to admit it. You're a liar. That's what you are. The whole time you lied. You never had one piece of evidence. It's just claim after claim after claim after claim. And I show that you're wrong and you just deny it because you're a liar. Flatter Day Saints. You are a worthless human being. You have no value. You, you, all of your, 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 your talk, you're just a, a, a bell, a clinging bell with no value. An absolute liar. That's what you are. <clears throat> and then to talk about kids like that. Talk about adrenochrome. You you're you are vile and evil. That's not what's happening. You are gullible and stupid. That's what's happening. Rick Sanchez says, uh, have you ever sprayed a hose? He's too stupid. Rick Sanchez again <clears throat> says that little kid is a government spy, of course. And then alien spore denialists are legitimately messed up in the head. Absolutely. He is mentally ill. Latter-day Saints, you are mentally ill. You do belong in an asylum. My opinion. That's where you belong. You are a danger to people because of your insanity. And you said it on stream there, you would get violent for flat earth. Yeah, it is your religion. It is a cult religion based on nothing, nothing at all. You presented zero. You didn't even try to present zero evidence. The one thing you read talked about gravity, talked about level, which I asked if you could, def if you could show measurements of level being flat, you can't. I showed measurements of level being a curve and you couldn't focus on anything other than the camera that was tilted because you have nothing. You are completely devoid of anything of value. So, <clears throat> yeah, I kicked him and uh, wow, what a horrible person. What a horrible person. So, well, um, <clears throat> thank you, people. Um, I I told uh, I told him that um, uh, told FTFE that maybe he could have him on. I don't know. I would not. I won't. I won't have this piece of garbage on again. Um, I wouldn't recommend anybody do it. So, uh, Stream News One says the worst trick the devil ever played just left yes he lies he speaks the devil's language absolutely oh if, if he's in in the chat feel free to time him out there it is yeah cool story bro is his white flag so <clears throat> anyway um 15 minutes from now i'm gonna do something fun um so we can all, if we watch, we can flush, flush away 
the turd that that's just gone there uh, i i got this uh tron lego set i'm gonna assemble uh it'll be in a separate stream it's already um visible if somebody wants to pop that in the chat i'd love it um in about 15 minutes i'm going to have on a couple people um potentially mm, well it'll be a surprise join me um i will be focused on this and they they and i we, we can all talk so uh yes my next guest is smarter lego blocks there we go so there it is let me see if i have any <clears throat> uh doo, 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 doo. all right make sure i got everything there it is <laughs> nathan thompson emailed me he wants he wants me to he wants to come on uh we'll schedule a time nathan i had emailed him asking if if he'd come on i think it was last week he's like no so nathan will organize a time you can come on and you can talk about electromagnetic wake <laughs> idiot um yep so not right now nathan because i'm gonna do something better than flat earth something smarter than flat earth hunks of plastic so there it is um we'll so we'll see you all in about 12 13 minutes everybody thank you so much for um patrons and channel members i appreciate it very much and uh, we will um we'll see you in a little bit be sure to um be sure to to give me a comment down below what you think about about flatter day saints um do try to be um creative in the words you choose so that the youtube filters don't automatically catch it and then i have to go release everybody's messages so we'll see y'all later bye